Crazy. Let's talk alcohol. Booze is booze is a tricky one. Yeah. Booze is a really tricky one. So hey, it's uh, Z and Sean here. Um, I'm just talking. We're talking alcohol today because obviously, you know, if you're a new member and you've joined the gym um, and your your goals are rapid body fat loss, you want to get in shape. Maybe you've got got the old muffin top, the old dad bod guys talking to you out there. You know, this is the kind of thing where obviously we say it's got to be limited massively, hasn't it? You've really got to cut out the alcohol. Alcohol is, I mean, it isn't good for you at the end of the day, is it? No, not at all. That goes into your body. Your body has to work over time to try to get rid of it. So. Obviously, it is it is that social side that people like to have the alcohol, don't they? Yeah. Um, so the big question is, when do you have it and how much and who can have it and things like that. But we have a little rule of thumb that if you, like, you know, say if you have just joined, you know, the whole program, for the first 12 weeks, you've got to pretty much say no alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you're serious. Yeah. If you're serious about getting a body transformation, you've joined here for a minimum of 12 weeks, you've invested the money, you've invested the time, you're ready to roll. This really isn't something that you want to be considering at all. It's going to pretty much come out of your diet straight away. It really is as simple as that. Yeah. It's easy to, well, maybe for women, like easy to drink a bottle of wine, a bottle of a finest kind of Prosecco. These have high calories in, so you could easily be sipping this and actually realize, you know, you're consuming a lot of extra calories. More calories is going to lead to more weight gain. So if your goal is to lose weight, then why would you drink your calories? That's what you're going to think of, I suppose. Yeah, you would, you would always want to get that, get those calories from a good, healthy kind of nutritional yeah. source as opposed to fill them with what we call empty calories. Yeah. That's right. Moreover, I would say it's the day after, isn't it? Yeah. You, you know, you drink a few beers. I mean, not like when we were you know, 16, 17, 18. Yeah. You, you could drink it and wake up the next day and do whatever. Nowadays, you drink it and you wake up and you, you do feel a bit tired. Hmm. Your, appetite, your appetite isn't on, is it? You don't want to no. eat eggs and avocado you want to have something different so yeah. it is obviously the effect of drinking it but it's, it is the after effect it's a knock on it's a knock on yeah. effect isn't it yeah absolutely right if you're having this this stuff guys you, you're going to expect to have reduced performance you know in terms of in the gym obviously everything your appetites can be off as well so you're going to you're going to miss out on all the benefits of the training program so if you knew if you knew be these things got to go if you've been on the program a long time and you've got exactly where you want to get to if you're in great shape it can be used as a tool to unwind. It might be a social thing for you. It's one or two beers, one or two glasses of Prosecco on the weekend, or a glass of red wine every now and again. It's going to be fine. Everything in moderation. You've got to find your own balance. That's it.